Hi guys, how you doing? Wanted to go a little bit of uh, Facebook Live for you, just to do a um, little benefit to my East Coast friends, a little bit something in the Midwest friends, uh, just some people in Vegas. It is now 519 here in Vegas. Um, I know everyone's been asking a lot for uh, Cooking with Corey and uh, what's been going on lately. Um, so I've started the, finally, I know everyone asked for cooking with Corey, but I had to change it up a little bit for Instagram. So Instagram, I picked up a new Instagram handle, which is great. Um, it's cooking, cooking Corey, uh, still going to use the hashtag cooking with Corey, still going to use CWC, but just wanted to be able to get on Facebook live and kind of get in touch with a few of you. Um, especially for you East coasters. Uh, I know it's three hour time difference for those in the Midwest. You got two hours, for those in mountain an hour and Vegas. If you're home already, I know you're either still working, watching from your office, you have kids or something's going on. So what I want to start doing is a little bit more of the Facebook Live videos, just to communicate back and forth, talk about food, talk about food questions, um, and really have fun with it. So we're going to talk a lot moving forward about um, some brands that I've been using, some fun that I've been doing, some products. Um, again, nothing is sponsored. I pay for everything, and if someone does send something for, uh, to us... It is completely complimentary. Um, we are not getting paid at all. Have to say that full disclaimer. Full disclaimer. Excuse me. So that being said, something kind of cool, guys, that I've been using a lot. And I wanted to thank our, our buddy Angelo DiNardo, Um, Is this ripe craft juice? So we've been I've been using it a little bit in some of my marinades. Uh, a little bit fun. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, this one's a Eureka lemon. Um, really tart. Uh, great vibrancy. Goes really, really well. For marinades, um, definitely can pick it up in the stores. And the cool thing is, they actually do a private label for um, for Whole Foods, which is cruel, really great. So this is their Whole Foods private label. This is actually 100% pomegranate juice, no fillers, no filters, no nothing, which is awesome. Uh, definitely a big fan of this. It's tart, it's sweet, it's really really cool. Um, Courtney, thank you for the support. Marissa, howdy, Nasser. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And Nick flew this in San Francisco. So we got a lot of fun. So, but definitely a cool brand. Uh, really cool to check out. So this is the Fresh Juice private package um, for Whole Foods that they do. So, and hi, Cecilia. Good to see you. Sash, what's going on? Uh, hold on one second. I'm going to add you guys. Nope. No, I'm not bringing you on camera. Anyways, so the cool thing is, and so this is, as we all know, we're supposed to drink about a, about a gallon of water a day. Everyone knows that, right? 64 ounces. Everyone well aware? So I've been drinking mine, which is great. And you'll notice this has got an interesting color to it because I tapped into something cool from the right people as well. Uh, this is really a fun mixture that they've been using for cocktails uh, at T-Mobile Arena here in Vegas. So it's filtered water, agave nectar, lemon juice, prickly pear juice, and beet juice. Uh, I really want to make a margarita out of this thing. Obviously, I missed the opportunity to drink it on Cinco de Mayo, but as you all know, I love tequila, which is really fun. So I'm going to make a tequila uh, something at some point with a little margarita mix. So stay tuned on that. And then on the ripe stuff also, guys, again, here's another one. This is Persian Lime. Uh, really fun, really cool. Uh, these guys at Ripe know what they're doing, so I can't thank them enough for what they've shared with me so far. So I'm probably going to do some cooking later. I don't know if it's going to go live. Um, might do a little uh, vegan food. I know that our friends Diana and Michelle and a few others of you have been asking for that. Um, but for those who are just tuning in, please remember, find me on here um, and find me on Instagram, Cooking Corey, which is kind of fun. Um, and I just want to be able to go back and forth, give tips, go, you know, go through things, all this really good stuff. If you have any questions, please send them out, guys. Send me texts, send me notes, send me emails, all that good stuff. So, uh, yes, actually, TJ, great call. It does mix well with Aperol. This is perfect. So just to show, do an up close and personal. So it's kind of cool. One of the fun things about this is that with the prickly pear juice and the beet juice, it really gives it this great color, which is kind of cool and unexpected. Um, it definitely mixes well with Aperol. TJ, hold that thought. You know what's going to happen? Hold on. Elio, good to see you. So to TJ's point, and this is what why we're live television or live Facebook and all that. Got a little Aperol, got a little juice, juice mixture. TJ, you want to see me make a cocktail? What do you think? Probably. All right, so we're going to go Facebook Live. We're going to have some fun. Stay tuned. We'll make a cocktail. Why not? Hold that thought. Don't go far.
You know, Cecilia, you're right. Casa Dragones Blanco would be fantastic. Um, what the question is, guys, do we want to go with tequila to add on this as well or just Aperol? Because I'm open for either one. Like, you guys tell me we're not doing a voting pool, a poll, but we're going to have some fun. So you tell me what you want to do. AB, good to see you, buddy. Have, have fun. So let's have some fun. What do you think, guys? What do we want to do? You want to do tequila in this as well as the Aperol? Or do you want to just go straight Aperol and keep it light and fresh? Because I'm here for you. This is kind of one of those fun things. So we'll give it a second. You guys let me know. The cool thing is many years ago, our friends at Absolute Elix hooked us up. It was a really cool tasting. Um, really beautiful mixing glass. Great strainer. Beautiful, right? A little bit fun. Definitely goes back to the Absolute Elix line. Uh, Linda, good to see you. Welcome. Tawny, nice to have you in the room. It's getting a little warm in here. Hold on. Stay live, guys. We're not far yet. And I am going to bring out a secret ingredient, ladies and gentlemen, which is great. Uh, Espel Listen, I would love Espelon. Okay, you want that. Arthur, good to have you here. So this is one of my secret ingredients. El Guapo bitters, guys. Cucumber and lavender. Absolutely fantastic. So you know what? We're going to make a cocktail. Uh, in honor of my buddy David Duran, who happens to be in San Diego, we're going to hook it up. So I'm going to pick a tequila. Don't go far. Hold on. We're going to go over to the bar. Let's go to the bar. Hi, Sharon. Good to see you. Okay, guys. This is the bar. Hey, Andy. All right, so we're gonna pick a, pick a tequila here, right? Okay, let's see what we got. I know there's a lot going on. Uh, let's see what we got. What do we wanna go with? What do we wanna go with? What do we wanna go with? What do we think? Oh, well, we could go, let's see. We have options. Uh, oh, Tawny, you and the kids, awesome. Give them my best, perfect. What do you think, our guys, Arepo and Anejo? Uh, hey, family McGowan. What do you think, guys? Do you want to go straight? Let's see. What kind of options do we want to do? What kind of options? You know what? We're going to pull something out of left field. All right. So check this out, guys. So what we're going to do is, so as a few of you, this is great. You guys are awesome. Fish tacos. Okay. So guys, this is kind of cool. So as some of you know, last year I spent a lot of time in Montana, right? And so we spent a lot of time in Montana. And so I went up to Spotted Bear Distillery. This is their agave spirit, right? So they can't call it tequila because it's not made in tequila. So ginger is getting kicked. Awesome. Love gin. Awesome, AB. So this is basically tequila, but they can't call it tequila just like, as we all know, you can't call champagne. Champagne was made outside. You can't call cognac. Cognac was not made there. All the good stuff. So we're going to make a cocktail, right? What do you think? Everyone in? Okay. So we're going to do this the right way. We're gonna, so again, got any? Yes, David. I'm sure I have Mad Dog 2020 for you. So stay tuned. So anyways, hold, on, hold that thought. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to take our tequila or agave spirit, little spotted bear from Whitefish, Montana, kind of fun. We're going to make a real, we're going to make a big cocktail. What do you think? Should I make one, small one or a big one? What do you think? Any opinions? Someone better tell me right now. Big or small, guys? Big or small? Who's got it? Who's in? Who's in? What do we think? Any thoughts? Any thoughts? All right, we'll go small. All right, so here we go. First, got our agave. Put that one down. Uh, thanks, T TCN. You're a little slow, but that's okay. Go big. Okay, I'll make a double. Big, of course. God love you guys. All right, big, of course. All right, so we'll do we'll do parts. So first we're doing... Or agave. Then, in honor of TJ, TJ, I know you're watching, I know you're enjoying. Big fan of the Aperol, waiting for a little bit more to be sent, just saying. Just to let you know, not a plug, just a little something. Yeah, yes, McGowan, I got you. Listen, you're a day late, buddy. You're a day late. You can owe me one. All right, so then we're going to go a little Aperol. Again, guys. Just FYI, this is one of my favorite things to have in your liquor cabinet. Uh, super low proof for all those that have kids, um, for all those who really like a nice little sipper, a uh, little something on weekends, just whatever. Um, I've always been a big fan of Aperol. It goes great with soda. goes great with um, sparkling wine. You name it. Really, really big fan. Uh, we've actually did the great Aperol off many years ago where we did um, – I've delayed the internet, buddy. Thanks, David. Um, we've done it with – 
grapefruit juice, orange juice, all sorts of good stuff. So we've got that. So we've got those in there. Again, oh, I have delayed it. In okay, sorry. Tough luck. Again, the El Guapo bitters, big, big fan, guys, okay? Remember, the cucumber and lavender, I love these things. They're absolutely delicious. So we do three dashes. That's fine. I like it. Nice and simple. Then, as I said, guys, this is what this is from the right, uh, the right folks. This is really, really cool. A little bit fun. Again, just to remind you, filtered water, agave nectar, lemon juice, prickly pear juice, and beet juice. Okay? So it's got plenty of sweetness to it, so we don't need to add any more sweetness. Uh, we're just going to add, I'm actually going to go equal, a uh, little bit more than equal parts, just to kind of go through some things, and we can always change it up a little bit. So if anyone has any questions, let me know. But again, a little bit cooking with Corey. Uh, oh, good. We've got everyone together. Okay. So this is, a my water tastes like crap. Okay. Well, you're the one who works out six days a week. So, right, Sharon? Anyways, so we're going to have a little bit of fun. So I'm going to actually throw this into the mixing glass. I want to mix it in there. That's just me. That's how I like it. Just bear with me. Tough life, right? Okay. So I'm going to give this a rinse. I'm going to hook it up. I already gave that a shake, which is good. I'm going to go another little part. About halfway so that's there leave that over here so again guys just remember get our juice got our Aperol agave nectar and secret ingredient the El Guapo bitters hold the thought I have to get some ice don't go far So now my hair looks money. Thanks, David. All right. So anyways, so look, got ice. It still move, can move around, which is kind of great. Um, and then what we're going to do while this is being set up, because this is what we do, guys, because I could strain it out and just pour it straight. But I'm going to have some fun because you know what? I have a secret weapon right now. Don't go far. Because I prepared for this, guys. Look what this is. Big fan. A beautiful sphere. I didn't filter the water. It's not a ninja, TJ. That's cute. But it is a sphere, which is great. So I didn't filter the water fully, which is kind of fun. Uh, I definitely want to do that. So usually in order to filter the water, get some of those impurities out, you want to boil the water and then chill it down and then be able to let it... Uh, Good. I'm glad you have those. Perfect. I also have the cubes too. We can get TJ. Come to Vegas. We'll have some fun. So great. So now this is over here. It's all set up, which is kind of fun. We're gonna have a good. Got this base together. Corey, good to see you. Adrian, good to have you in the room, Miss Lobo. So again, guys, for I personally, for years, 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 loved shaking my cocktails. I really did. It was just one of my favorite things to do. Um, but now I much prefer stirring my cocktails. David, easy. So I really like stirring my cocktails. That's just me. Uh, it's just something I've started doing a couple years ago. And, you know, obviously it goes back to the trend that goes on here um, in mixology. But I just find it gets them colder. I mean, you can shake, shake, shake to your heart's content. But I really like making and stirring a cocktail. So hold on. I'm going to put it down a little bit so you guys can see a little action. Hold on. Hold on. Can everyone see that? Good. No. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Power of television. Power of television. We're live. And Facebook Live. So, again, give me a good stir. I personally like to stir my cocktails for 30 seconds to a minute. It just depends really on how cold you like your drinks. We're going to try it. We'll see how it is. If it sucks, it sucks. If it's good, I'm going to drink it. So, any questions while we're at this? No? No questions? No one's, no one's thirsty? LB, nice to see you, my friends. Corey, you can shake as much as you want, okay? And ladies and gentlemen, if you are thirsty in Las Vegas, go see Mr. Corey Van Aken at the office bar. He's been around for years. Good man, great friend, which is kind of fun. So now I've got that, that's done. Got our strainer, nice and organized. Got our cocktail, ready to make some magic happen. And there we go. 
we've created a cocktail. It's a great concept, right? And also, it's, uh, it's 5.30. Apparently, it's time for cocktails here in Las Vegas. So we've got plenty of leftover for the next drink. We've got our current. My pleasure, Corey, anytime. Yes, LB, I can make you a virgin, which is good because, Lindsay, when you come to Vegas or back east, we've got something. We're going to hook you up. This is a great juice mixture. Graham says, cool. Grammy, all the best, buddy. Good to see you. Look forward to cooking with you soon, hopefully in June. Right, Grammy? Okay, so LB, this is, um, this is Ripe Juice Company. Cheers, salute. Oh, yeah, very important. Cheers. Man, that's good. That's really good, guys. That is really, really fun. Yes, Cecilia, you got it. TJ, see you soon. I'll send the recipe. Nano, good to have you in the room. I'm going to have another sip. And don't forget LB. I've got the Yanks on in the background, even though you can't hear them. So LB, just for you especially, it's the Ripe Juice Company. It's really cool. This actually is a perfect uh, version for you. You're just going to have to work out a lot more because it's got some sugar. Again, filtered water, agave nectar, lemon juice, prickly pear juice, and beet juice. So super healthy. It obviously has the agave nectar, uh, natural sweetener. Um, Nano, thanks, brother. So uh, just a little fun. Guys, just to recap, again, so what I did, spotted bear agave spirit from Whitefish, Montana. When I was up there, great distillery, kind of fun. Make it a pops. Okay, we'll do that. We'll come up with it. I'll try it. So again, then we had some Aperol. Are we drinking new show? All sorts. It's, it's everything, Sharon. It's great. We're, tonight he's drinking with Corey. So we've got the Aperol. We've got the ripe juice. And again, secret weapon, the El Guapo bitters, the cucumber and lavender bitters. And big thanks to our friends at Absolute Elix who hooked us up with many years ago with the shaker, uh, excuse me, the mixing glass, strainer, and all the fun stuff. So again, guys, here's a little cocktail, just a little something fun. Want to go live, want to have some fun. I got to run. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, but if you have any questions, a couple things. You can find me, Eat Drink Vegas, as you all know. You can find me on here. Hey, Deneke, good to see you, bud. Uh, you can find me on here. I did start the new Instagram feed, guys, Cooking Corey. Not, I couldn't get the W or the width. I'm sorry. Uh, but you can find me. Uh, we've got a lot of fun ahead. I promise I'll be doing some more cocktails. I will put up the recipe later. Uh, so if anyone has any questions, we'll have some fun. But shoot me a note. Send me um, some information if anyone's curious. Guys, just to let you know, I'll be in Colorado in June. Uh, looking forward to cooking with the McGowans as well as uh, drinking with the McGowans, which would be great. Uh, Cecilia, you need to go uh, get on the phone with um, our dear friend uh, Andrea Polito and get it onto a podcast where we do some cooking and drinking. So Tara, thank you very much. Give all the kids my love. Uh, Lex, nice to see you, my dear. Uh, we'll have some fun. But guys, again, shoot me some notes. Shoot me some uh, questions, emails, recipes. We're going to have fun with this. Why not, right? So sorry for the lighting. We're going to work on it. We're going to work on staging your cameras and all that good stuff. But uh, guys, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.